What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Centrum and welcome to the channel. So we're back. It's been about two weeks. I'm sorry. The world's gone to shit since our last video. Uh, you know, COVID-19, all that bullshit. But I live here in DFW, Tarrant County, actually Fort Worth side. And it's all been a joke anyway. The whole quarantine, shelter in place. Everyone's essential. Everyone's been working. I've been working. Haven't had time to actually work on my own side stuff. So here we are now. We got the hood behind me. And as you can see, I got my car over here. So we're going to test fit it today, see how it lines up, see if it needs any kind of tweaks. Um, I've got some things I want to show you about the hood. I actually didn't mess with the hood for the first week because I had some issues that I, I needed to address with the company. But we'll get all into that into the future. Well, <laughs> into the future. We'll get to that in a little bit, and I'll tell you guys what was going on. Um, right now, we're going to flip the hood over. We're gonna get the hardware in, and then we'll set up, test fit it, take the Hellcat hood off. We'll see how everything looks, and see you guys then. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna show you guys the difference. Ah, uh, let me grab it real quick. With this new BMC Hornet hood, you need your factory hardware. Now, luckily for me, I have factory hardware. But as you can see, it takes the factory latch here. And then it's threaded here for the factory bolts. Which I'm going to show you here on the Amerhood Hellcat hood, which I'm glad I thought about. This hood comes with its own latch. You can see it is vertical instead of horizontal like the other one. And it came with its own hardware, which is threaded different. So it come with different bolts as opposed to the other one. So luckily I had this and I thought to bring it up to the shop prior to coming here, because if not, we wouldn't have been test fitting this hood. So if you have a Hellcat hood and you're getting this, you need to make sure that you have your factory hardware. If you plan on installing this hood or changing it out, or if you have your factory hood, then you're good. Everything's just going to swap over your golding. So first things first with this hood, just wanted to keep y'all updated. Let's get this hardware on and then we'll get this other hood off. We'll get this on and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so from first, just quick bolt up, we can see that it for sure needs to go over more passenger side. So we're gonna tweak the bolts a little bit, try to get it moved over some, and see how it lines up all around. So just to show you guys, if you've never aligned a hood, so you can see where the factory spot was where it was painted you can see the outline that doesn't always apply with aftermarket hoods because there's just there's differences between the factory and aftermarket positioning so you can see on this side it's way off oh well there's my finger it's way off on that so you're gonna have to move those forward backward side to side keep opening and closing the hood right now the hood is close I actually just took the the latch off to relax it to see if oh sorry to see if that was giving it any tension because I'm close but I, my gaps are a little off which is fixable but if you look this gap is solid all the way down it's kicking up a hair here this gap is, it needs to come forward. This gap is what I'm concerned about. You can see how it opens up, but then about halfway in, it gets decent. So we're gonna have to figure out this issue in here, which is concerning because this side's good and the other side's not. So we got Chindo here, Chindo's gonna kind of tweak it a little bit. I just wanted to give you guys an update. If y'all have never aligned a hood, it's a tedious process. Okay, so after playing with it for about 15 minutes, Chindo came out, gave us a hand. 
this is about the best the hood's gonna get, which um, we're good with. We're, we're happy with, we can make it work. I'll show you guys. So we got this gap. Once we tighten it down all the way, it should fix this little kick up. But this gap is solid. We got the hood to move forward. So you can see that there's a nice continual gap here. We fixed this gap. In doing so, it got it a little tight up here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mark where we need to with tape so that we can take some material off. Now it's easier to take material off than it is to add material, of course, on the mold. But this is just us trying to make the gap perfect all the way around for my car. Now your mold may or may not need it. Um, everything's gonna be different. Molds are always different. Fiberglass hood, you never know exactly what you're gonna get. But overall, as far as the gaps, the, let's see. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell. Again, it's not tightened all the way down there. It should bring that down, but. I mean, this gapping is really nice. Um, overall, very happy with this hood. I think we're gonna be able to get it to align like money. So once he comes back with the tape, we'll mark where it needs to go. But let's get you guys some, uh, some walk around. That center intake is so aggressive. Let's go in. Oh yeah. So what you guys think? Um, literally I'm just changing the hood for four extra heat extractors. <laughs> which is kind of ridiculous but I'm very happy with it now that we've got a test fit it we know that what we need to do we'll get it back off I have to do a little extra work to the hood which I'll address here in a second and we'll be up to date then This is why I'm happy I work with people who are better at things than I am so that I can learn and things get done properly. So as I stated a while ago, we're just getting the tape line down so that we know how much material to take off when we're prepping the hood. So as you can see, we got the tape line down. There's very minimal we gotta take off, but that should make the world a difference in this gap. Now we gotta get this hood back off we got to put that one back on and I got to take it inside and I'm going to show you guys some of the other little things we had with the hood that needs to be addressed before we get it ready. Okay, so we got the hood back in and I'm going to show you guys a couple things that you won't have to worry about on your hood, but I have to. So my hood came without the drain holes. Should be two there and there should be one about right here and one on that corner. And if you remember in my last video, when we unboxed it, I felt like there needed to be something here that was on my buddy's hood. Uh, so with that being said, I spoke to BMC and their person who runs their social media on Instagram and I reached out to them via phone and I talked to Mike, the owner of BMC Customs. And they were all super, super helpful. They did everything in their capability to help remedy the situation. They offered to send me another hood. I could send this one back. I didn't want to go through all the trouble of doing that. So I said it was okay. I said we could fix this uh, here at the shop. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to open that up for the heat extraction. We're going to open that up and then we're going to drill some holes for the rain drip. Now, anyone who is purchasing this hood, my buddy Jamie for one and Tony, another buddy of mine who has this hood already, theirs came perfect. Perfect. Had the drip holes, had the heat extraction hole. No problem. So no one else should have this problem. When I spoke with Mike, he said that this is probably the very first mold hood that got mixed up somehow and it should not have got sent to me. Well, I have it now. No big deal. We're going to open it up. We're going to fix the situation. 
but I really wanted to take this time in the video to give a shout out to Mike and his team at BMC Customs and their customer service for helping with the situation, talking to me every day. I really appreciate you guys. Um, I love the hood, but I love that you guys took the time to talk to me and remedy and make everything, you know, make sure everything went that I was happy. So thank you guys. It gives me much more respect for the company itself as well as the amazing product. So we're gonna get in here. Oh, I forgot to say. So we're gonna also cut this opening out a little bit more for the Ram Air. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up some masking tape right here. And we'll use a hole saw over here and over here. And then we'll just cut out straight lines back and forth for that. I won't have the mesh like the hood is supposed to, but it's okay, it's no big deal. We're gonna get this taken care of and my hood will just be a little bit different than everybody's, which I'm okay with. So let's get that done. The area laid out that we're going to have cut out. So we'll be using hole saw, cutting that out. It's about a 14 inch opening, about two and a half inches tall. I have to drill these holes out. And then I got these as close as I could. I'm gonna use this one right here and this one over here. They're pretty close. Hood's gonna be painted black. A hole in a black hood is not that visible. But I think that's gonna be pretty good. Now it's the messy part. It's fiberglass. I'm gonna get itchy because I don't have the proper stuff and I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt and stuff. So poor planning. But let's go ahead and get this done and I'll show you the aftermath. All right, guys. So we've got the heat extraction cut out. We've got the drain hole cut. I'm gonna have to fill that in. The drill bit caught, broke out a little bit. We've got this one done and this one done. So besides the opening over there, which I'm not gonna be doing, the hood is basically ready for us to block down, get ready for primer and paint, and trim off a little for that gap on the passenger side. So this, I've got a little bit of extra that I need to do to my hood that nobody else should have to worry about, the cutting the heat extraction out and the drip holes but that's annoying but other than that the hood's ready we test fitted it you guys got to see it on the car i hope you guys like it as much as i do i'm really stoked to get it painted and on the car uh so you got to see fitment you got to see how well everything is designed i told you a little bit about the customer service of bmc which i'm very very happy for hopefully none of y'all have any problems like i did but the hood's ready. Next video will be prep, paint, and put on the car. So stay tuned, guys. Hope you enjoy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications if you want to see this hood on the car, which I should. I mean, just go ahead and do it, all right? We'll see you guys in the next video.